Hello fabulous Scorpio, welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a huge astrological month and a very important one at that. Not just in the context of this month or this year, but in a larger context as well over the course of this decade. It is going to be right around March 22nd when Saturn will move into the sign of Aquarius. Once Saturn does that, at the very end of the month, the 31st of March, Saturn will meet your ancient ruling planet Mars in this same part of the sky. Now, Saturn is just dipping into this brand new part of the sky. By the time we get to July 1st, we'll retrograde back to where he's been for the better part of, well, over two years now. And it is going to be at the very end of the year when we get into December that Saturn will return here and then meet Jupiter in the same exact same degree that he's meeting Mars this month. And so that means a few things. What happens now will be seen very differently once we get there. And as much as Jupiter meeting Saturn can represent a brand new beginning, it is Mars meeting Saturn that speaks to a deeper understanding of what stays and what goes. Now think about this, your ancient ruling planet meeting Saturn. This is especially accelerated. It's like a precursor, if you will, to 2023 and 2024 when your modern ruling planet Pluto moves over the same point, zero degrees of Aquarius. Now, all of this is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with home and family of origin and the foundations to your life. I'll tell you, it is now that you will spend some time, first a couple of months and then uh, over two years, building a foundation from which you will grow forward and manifest more and more for years to come. It is that important and that consequential. This part of the sky is thought to represent home and family of origin, but also being at home within yourself. And I do think that this is at the very foundation of the chart. It represents sort of a ground, if you will, the base of what it is you're gonna work on, what it is you're gonna put into place. Because from here, the chart is what astrologers call rising. It is from here that the growth takes place to fully manifest in 14 years time. So I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. And do keep an eye out for the Saturn special horoscopes that are coming up in the first part of March. So be on the lookout for that, that's pretty exciting. And that will dive into a lot more detail for you, certainly for the collective. So be on the lookout at YouTube as well. I'll have a lot more to say about that and I'll be talking about it as we go along. But there are other wonderful things happening this month as well. And they include a full moon right around the ninth of the month. Now this full moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and groups that you belong to. It has to do with your connection to others, your understanding of what really big opportunities are for you and cultivating them. Now, there are things I really love about this full moon. It is speaking in supreme harmony with Jupiter and Pluto, your modern ruling planet, as I mentioned, which means that there's so much power now that is that much more meaningful to you. But we also have Neptune standing across the sky from this full moon, which tells me part of what might be transpiring now. Well, there might be some sense of things shifting and changing. There might even be some sense of disappointment. And I'm so sorry to say that, but it does happen. And ultimately, whatever is transpiring, it is meant to make you stronger and more powerful. So for some of you, it might be as simple as a friend is moving and you know you're gonna miss them. For others though, it may be that a group project is coming to an end. And even though it is setting you up for even bigger and better opportunities, which are there, you know that this particular experience now is coming to a close. And that can bring with it some mixed feelings. And of course, as I said, really big opportunities are covered here as well. So it may very well be that there is something you have your eye on that you're hoping will come together and something very well might, but it might actually be different than what it was that you were expecting. Now, regardless of how this transpires, 
of course you are moving in more and more empowered directions this is energy that works really well with you and it, this energy is social it looks like you're having fun as we get to this full moon now as we navigate late into the month right around the 24th is when we will have this month's new moon this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with work and the people who surround you there the type of work that you're doing and it also has to do with your health related habits now saturn will be speaking in harmony with this new moon and i really love that energy for you i feel like it gives you uh, a sense of what really matters a sense of the bigger picture a sense of dedication and commitment it also gives you a real sense of understanding strength and understanding what that looks like how you show up for it what it means to live your faith in all of your moments and in your smallest moments at that and this encourages you to make positive changes and the rewards are there so for some of you this is just going to be a time when it feels like there's more work related opportunities there may be more hours there might be a sense of you wanting to make changes where it comes to your work so that it aligns with something that feels like a strong future for you for others though, this may be a time when you are implementing new health related habits. Remember with this energy, it's the incremental approach that's gonna get you to the goals that truly do matter to you. And the changes you make now have the potential to stick and create lasting results. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that is the very big and great news this month because it is gonna be right around the fifth of the month that Venus will enter your opposite sign. Not only that, Venus will be reaching out to other power players in big ways. So in the first part of the month, Venus is meeting Uranus. That is a surprise a minute. And then Venus will go on to speak in harmony with big power players like Pluto, like Jupiter. And all of that tells me that a lot is transpiring for you in the context of love. Remember though, in the first part of the month, Mercury is still retrograde in your opposite sign. In the middle of the month, Mercury will dip out, stand still in the sky, and then go forward. And so for the last part of the month, it looks like you will see the events, certainly of the first part of the month, but really going back into February and what's been happening in the context of love. Well, you'll see it with a different perspective. You'll see it more clearly than you did before. So if you're open to meeting someone new, that flirtatious energy of uh, Mercury being retro in a flirtatious part of the sky is especially strong, but I do really like Venus moving into your opposite sign. I feel like love and partnership could surprise you. And just Venus being here, it tends to indicate attracting someone with real long-term potential. And yet Mercury is retrograde. And so what you may think, what your first impression is, it may end up being something different, perhaps even better. For those of you just starting to date someone, this can be an important time as well. It invites you to take another look, consider what it is that you feel. However, how you feel about this person can actually change, in some cases dramatically so, as we navigate in the later part of the month. We have that beautiful, passionate energy of Venus connecting with power players along with a direct Mercury. So you really may be seeing things differently and in a much more empowered way. For those of you who are in an established bond, I love Venus for you. Venus moving into your opposite sign is so nice. It can feel as if your partner is that much sweeter, that much uh, nicer, that much easier to get along with, to connect with. And with a month like this, there's an intensity of a bonding there that seems to be that much more meaningful to you. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but I am going to say Venus in your opposite sign. I think that is such a lovely energy for you. Wherever it is you're getting together with people one-on-one, -on -one, wherever it is that you're partnered with people professionally as well, well, that is where the blessings are able to flow. So make sure you are connecting and keeping those communication lines open, or at the very least, being open to seeing what it is another perception could be. It can be now that someone does facilitate a lovely blessing in your life that ultimately brings in greater prosperity as well. And it looks like you truly are feeling very grateful for the partners in your life now.
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week. And with a month like this, as active an astrological sky as it is, and two series of special horoscopes, no less, the Saturn special horoscopes and Venus retrograde special horoscopes as well that will launch over the course of the month of March. Well, there's so much to talk about every single week. If you log on to NadiaShaw.com, sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.